Hello fellas and welcome. Today I'll be reviewing this torque range. You can clearly see that the brand is not Parkside. It's not Ultimate Speed either. But yet again, it's a brand you can find at Lido. The manufacturer is Walter Werkzeuge. But the torque range is made in China. The price is only 24 euros. And the adjustable torque is from 80 up to 210 Newton meters. My first impression is that the overall quality of the product is not any different than the majority of the cheap torque ranges on the market. The main scale is clearly visible and easy to read. There is a changeover lever over here which should always be in this position. The torque range is designed only for tightening screws with right hand thread. You should never use it for any other application. Something hilarious to my Bulgarian viewers, the sentence only for tightening with right hand, not for loosening, is translated like samo za pravni nuždi ne za rešavane. I don't know who was the translator of this, but uh, he should definitely think for another job. There is a declaration of conformity in the package with a test certificate in it. And we can see that the deviation is only 0.6%. Using my professional electronic torque tester, I am planning to validate the accuracy of the torque range. The electronic torque tester is set on first peak mode, which is designed for clicking torque ranges. The torque range is set on 80 Newton meters. Let's see what the electronic torque tester will show. Eighty point thirty two. Let's zero it and do another run. Eighty point fourteen. One hundred and ten Newton meters. One hundred and twelve. One hundred and eleven, one hundred forty five Newton meters on the torque range, one hundred forty five. One hundred forty three. Second run. One hundred forty four point seven one sixty on the torque range. One sixty point three second run. 161.6 185 on the torque range 185 188 Again, 188, 200 Newton meters. 204.4 So guys, my conclusion is that the torque range is pretty accurate. Bear in mind 
that the results over here are recorded in special labs on special testing rigs. They are not performed manually, meaning they are not performed by hand. Such movements are eliminated on those rigs and the force applied to the torque range is constant and it's increasing in super tiny increments. When I was setting the different torque values, I've noticed that sometimes the rotation of the handlebar is a little bit hard, but for 25-24 euros, I think that it's pretty normal. For heavy applications, the torque range is simply perfect. I highly doubt that you'll be able to find more accurate and cheaper torque range on the market. With this, I plan to end this video. So, if you'd like it, thumbs up and subscribe.